Hello guys, this is Deathler and welcome back to another episode of our single player survival. We're on episode 8 and today before we get, well before we start doing anything I would like to say, well, no, I, I just, no, no. What I'd like to tell you guys is that I just bought a new monitor. Now it will be coming in a few days from now and currently I'm using a 720p 20 inch AOC monitor and it's relatively old and so my new monitor which I am which I have purchased is a BenQ 21.5 inch monitor 1920 by 1080p so hopefully the video quality should get a bit better in the future so yeah also I am playing you will see it with the beta release of Optifine for Minecraft 1.11 and I'm also running some custom sky textures these are the textures well this is custom sky from Halcyon Days you can find links to that down in the description I'm really struggling for words again today I was stuck by, um, with using either Halcyon Days or what's the other pack called I can't remember <laughs> Or dramatic skies. The thing I like to put dramatic skies is the water texture was a lot lighter because I I think these water textures are too dark. But you know that's the way the game is. Also, I'd like I'd like to ask you a question. What would you think of me modifying a texture or two? There won't be major modifications. Just things like the weather hearts or maybe even the water. Who knows? Mossy cobblestone for that matter because I find the green and that is way too vibrant. But yeah, enough of that. Um, last episode seemed to have been fairly well received. I don't know why you guys seem to like this building. It's still. I'm still not liking it, so I may rebuild it at one point. But yeah, today we're going to be working on the Cave Spider XP farm. We're going to be finishing it off. Which, to be honest, we don't really have much more to do. We only have to make the room where we'll stand in AFK and I suppose light up the surrounding areas so that it can be fully functional at night as well. So yeah, it's going to be a very fun episode I think because we'll finally have an XP farm which means we can finally make use of the books from the AFK fish farm which I've been wanting to do so that we can get our well our better um, armor and tools and stuff so that we can go and battle the ender dragon and the wither okay so as you seen in the last episode we've done some basic work with um, the water here just to try and trick the cave spiders pathfinding and i haven't really tested it yet so i don't know how it's going to work this here is where the cave spiders will be collected and basically how this is going to work is we're going to have a water source in there and when the case spiders get to this point they're going to notice oh there's a space up here and since they are less than half a block tall they will move up into that space but if we don't block it off here they will spew out so we need to put like a trap door or something down or a few, sl uh, the, few of the snow slabs and it should be all good also what we need to try and work out is how we're actually going to enter the room because that may po pose a problem I'm thinking of blasting through the mountain and doing it from that side because then that gives us the incentive to actually use the river so basically if we just walk around and try to find a suitable route <laughs> yeah we should we really should just dig through yeah here so we've got the river there so what we could do is have the path come out here and then make a little smaller path and have a double back to a small port which we can have here pretty good also before we continue any more work i'd like to talk about the paths we've actually made around the outside of the base i'm actually thinking of taping them out and replacing them with that gravel variant of path i've made for years now my reasoning for that is i think it looks a lot better and that path we use with these path blocks I find those will be better for the area that isn't walked on as much so maybe some side paths going off somewhere that's why I think 
I think, and they're good for detailing. So yeah, we'll be tilling this out at one point, but we don't actually have enough gravel yet. Yeah, that's the only problem. But yeah guys, give me your feedback on what I said about um, modifying textures and stuff. I think it's a good idea. Um, what about gravel? We... Yeah, I've got a few stacks, not enough. Yeah, it's really bad. Also, for like the likes of fighting the weather and the ender dragon, I want to have both of that done, both of those fights done by episode 20. As I said earlier, we are on episode 8, so we have at least 12 episodes to prepare. We have already prepared most, mostly. It's just a case of putting enchantments on armor and actually finding a stronghold to, and I guess, getting weather skill and skills, which we'll be making a farm for that soon. So yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. But okay guys, I'm going to start working on this farm and, well, I'll try and get it semi-functional to a point. We'll, we'll get, I'll get the room kind of organised the way I want. We won't do the decorating yet, but we'll get it all, most of the way there. So yeah, I'll see you in a little minute. Really, I missed. <laughs> No, let's try and hit again. You know what, screw it. Anyways, yeah, I've put in the water streams and well, yeah, it's, it's looking good. It's beginning to look more like an operational farm. Now, we had a cave spider in here somewhere. Now, he was in this segment and he was down in the trench. Now, is he claimed, is he in here? No, he's not. He must have despawned. Yeah, I, I want to see if this little thing I've been making is actually working. Because if not, we can run into some issues. Because since cave spiders can actually fight water streams, it can be quite troublesome. But I guess we can maybe take a look. It's either that or it drowned when it tried to claim a wall. Hmm, very odd. No, um, technically speaking, this sh sh all should work. There's no reason to s if, um, for it to not work. Now we've questioned, <laughs> now I need to try and get out of here. Um, try and, have I got a block in the hole? I can use, no. I suppose I could just do that. Up a little and do that. Lost the wall and replace. Oh, there we go. It's sorted. Okay, the only problem with this. Oh, there it is. So it did climb up the, that wall in there. Okay, it must have done it. Come on, cave spider. You want to play that game. Okay, right. Well, as I was saying, since these are so close together, they share a rock stream here and here. So there's no wall. Yeah, because if I put a wall in this, it will affect its spawn rates. And did most spawn. Yeah, because that's going crazy. Maybe. I don't know. Well, it will be doing that because it must be trying to spawn them, but there's no available spaces because I've lit everything up. That may be why. But yeah, guys, I'm going to continue my work. I'm going to actually see if this thing is working, and well, we'll come back and we've made some more progress. Okay, guys. So I've built an exact replica of the spawner with the spawner that we built in my redstone testing world. Boy, I'm loving those skies. And well, as you can see, I have two cave spiders up here because in fact, this works and you can see it working now. Now basically what happens is, the cave spiders fall into that hole and then when one decides to climb, they all decide to climb. And they come up very slowly, but <laughs> it works. It works like a charm, I must say. 
Now what we need to do is place some water and well yes it works it just it, it takes a very very long time for it to actually work see we well, maybe we had a game going in game mod 3 to get a better look now as you can see here they're all kind of floating now basically what's happening here as since even more cave spiders are flowing in, they're actually restricting them from climbing up. So maybe if we add a kind of redstone mechanism, say it pops up a lock every so often, and that may stop that from happening, or maybe pushes a block out from the side to completely seal this off. I don't know, it may work, it may not. Also, I placed water in there and it seems to have vanished. Let's just fix that, shall we? Game mode one. Yeah, I, I placed that water, and it's meant to stop them from trying to climb. Game mode three. Okay, so right, yeah, it's, it's they're going all over the place right now, but you get the idea. Now, one thing we need to wa watch out for is the entity cramming game rule thing. Now, if you have more than a certain number, see they're kind of climbing, but kind of, yeah, we're going to need to add a kind of door type thing here. Yeah, they're moving. Um, basically, if there's more than 22 uh, mobs, I think that's the default in that area. Yeah, you see they're all sprawling out. They will begin to suffocate, so we're not going to disable it in world. We're going to increase the value from 23 up to about 1,000 entities. Because then we aren't disabling it, so I'm taking out a main part of the game, and well, it'll be at the point where if we are FK for that long, that begins to cause trouble with the game, it will kill them. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to continue on. Now that I know that this works, I didn't want to go too far. Now that I know that this works, we can finally get started on the, the place where we're going to be AFKing. Now, we've already been playing, well we've already made this episode so far, so it's been going for quite a long time. Yeah, no it doesn't seem like it, does it? No it doesn't. So I'm going to continue on with my work and hopefully we should have a finished project soon. Who knows? Okay guys, so I've actually had to make a few modifications to the design I used in this world and I've made a f an another modification to the one we've seen in the creative world off camera basically. I added blocks here just so that when the cave spiders come to this point they're more compressed and down so they aren't actually encouraged to climb well here and it means we can do some more things with the water and we can make use of the water stones that's pushing up here as well to kind of make this it stops them from climbing but if they do they will go in there and they will suffocate and die so yeah it's a so a win-win situation, but in fact I actually need to try and get in here because one, this hole, how deep is it, one, two, three, ah that's going to cause problems, right, um, so it needs to be three, Deep. How many stone blocks do I have left? Right, we'll just go down there, shall we? Lava up this high? Oh, yeah, that's one of the things I love about this barn. There's so much gold everywhere. Okay, now we're going to place some string because this area needs to be dark so that the case because that encourages the cave spiders to actually climb themselves. A little fun fact. Also, guys. I didn't design this farm, the full credit goes to Tango Tech, he's the one who made it and I'll be making a, oh that was, sorry that's my mouse, I'll be making a tutorial on how you can make it next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay right, so we're almost done making our little edits, place that more back and finally move those two, and we can get out here so we don't have to break any more blocks. Excellent. 
Okay, and we don't need to do anything over there. Oh, I love those sky textures. I really do. It's a good addition. Yeah. So, um, what I'm going to do is, since we're getting kind of later on in the episode, as you know me, I don't like having them any longer than 20-25 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design the AF King room off camera and I'll show you what it's like and we'll come back and we'll probably end the episode there. Okay guys, I'm afraid I am out of time for today but I've built part of the room where we're going to be AF King so you get the basic design. I'm going to be using some polished anisides, some red stain clay and some spruce wood along with a little bit of stone bricks and some iron trapdoors. But yeah, it's, um, this project has come along pretty well. Of course, since we're not entirely finished, everything's still lit up. But off camera, I'll finish off this room and we'll get this thing operational. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, this, this is going pretty good. One thing is I'm going to try and implement my, like, some initials in places, so a D and stuff, just to kind of personalise it for me. Also guys remember give me feedback on the thing about textures and the custom sky and stuff because yeah, I think it's all a good idea. But anyways that is it for this episode so as always if you like this episode please make sure to hit that like button and if you really enjoyed it and you want to see more make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always I'll see you guys next time.